Hey Stanley, been going through some stuff lately. Do you mind if I come over and stay for a while at your place? I just want to get away from things for a few days and give myself time to process everything. I beat you up this morning. Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of put my sims through a lot. I, I tend to force them to do sort of ridiculous and very chaotic things in this game. But today we're gonna switch things up a little bit because I'm going to let my sim decide what we do in this video. On a normal day, I would probably load into here, I would bulldoze Stanley's house, I would cheat his money back down to zero simoleons, and then I would probably force him to spend a week straight doing some ridiculous monotonous task to earn me money. But I feel like this guy deserves a break. Like, Stanley has been through enough. So today we are going to attempt the only whims challenge. I saw my friend Dr. Gluon do a live stream kind of like this, and the idea is that you focus all of your gameplay around the whims that your sim has. So in this case, right now, Stanley wants to be mean to someone, and he also wants to listen to kids' music. I'm kind of making up my own rules here, but the challenge is that we have to do every single one of these whims, and we can also only do these whims. So like, if I wanted him to use the bathroom and he doesn't have a whim for it, well then too bad. I kind of have to wait until he autonomously does it, or he gets a whim to do it. So at this point, I'm almost like a casual observer who is merely here to help Stanley along on his life goal. It looks like the first thing he decided to do is go and read a book, so <laughs> you're welcome to do that. I'm not here to judge. He does want to listen to music, so I probably should buy him a radio. I can get you a kind of- ooh, those are all ugly. <laughs> I was gonna say I can get you a nice one, but maybe I shouldn't spend too much on that. Maybe I just get a simple little wireless speaker, kind of like this one. Listen to kids radio. There you go, buddy. Does that make you happy? And now he's got this debate captain's one, so he wants to have a nerdy conversation and be mean. So I guess we could probably go try and find- oh look! Oh, Ekram Elderberry. Okay. Well, I will come introduce myself to you and I'll probably be rude. And then I can enthuse about a new show. Look, now he wants to be mean to a good sim. I don't know how to find a good sim to be mean to. Oh, I really should not have given him the evil trait. Well, don't leave! <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm trying to think who is good that we can go and bully, and I know Bella Goth has the good trait, so I might go over there and mess with her. Of course, she isn't even outside. Is Bella Goth even home? I feel like I see every other sim in this house except for Bella. He's going to kick their trash can autonomously. Really? I mean, that's okay. You can do that. I won't judge. Oh, oh, Bella is here. Okay, maybe she just blended into the wall. <laughs> She's like wearing the same color red dress as this wallpaper is. Maybe that's why I couldn't see her. Okay, I bullied her. What's next? Just be mean to someone again? Is this all I'm gonna do today? <laughs> Just walk around and bully people? I need to be careful because I also need to do some of our like nerdy interests. I don't know what this is. No one wants me to make another sim angry. <laughs> just gonna have to walk around bullying Bella. She's currently embarrassed. Oh, that was easy. Make an enemy? Oh my god. I don't really know how the whim system works in this game. I know that they get them like based on traits and likes and dislikes and stuff, but I don't really know if they're connected to each other. So like if you do a bunch of social ones, do you get more social ones? Oh, I can fight her. Well, that makes things easy. <laughs> <laughs> Beating up someone in their own home is a surefire way to make an enemy. <laughs> We're off to a really good start today. <laughs> Things are going absolutely fantastic. Oh, she beat me up. Okay. That's fine. I deserve that. Declare enemy. You don't even get that many points from these things. I'm getting a hundred from this one, which really isn't that much. Oh! Oh, he wants to catch a fish! Okay. While I'm here, can I talk to anybody else in a more, like, friendly capacity <laughs> so I can try and get this debate captain's thing done? I've looked through every single one of the social categories, and I don't really know how you're meant to complete this one. I've tried to do it. I've tried to have a nerdy conversation, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm, like, not really in a nerdy mood, given all that's been going on. <laughs> oh, false alarm? Maybe it did work? Play video games. Okay, well, we can do that later. I'm gonna go try and fish first. We haven't really reached a point where we have to worry about needs yet, but I'm kind of getting nervous about what's gonna happen when we do get to that point. <laughs> I don't really trust him to fix anything himself. He is fixing his fun need right now, so that's useful. But we kind of have to make do with what we have while he is still, like, not tired. Ooh, oh, he wants to plant something. Okay, we can go home. We can start planting things and playing some video games at home then. But what I meant by that is that I don't trust him to sleep all the way through the night. Sims are just not really very good at that. I, I don't know if 
if you've noticed, but they're not the smartest when it comes to deciding when and where and how to sleep. Like they'll have a depleted energy need and then choose to nap on the couch instead of going to bed for real. Oh wait, let me buy one of these too. I'll just get him like one planter box for now because then we can buy some seeds on it and I'll purchase some starter flowers. Oh, I should mount this fish. <laughs> I want to put it on the wall. It's so dark in here. I'm just gonna let him plant one thing because his whim is only to plant something. And maybe while he does that, I might actually replace the lights. I know his whim does not involve light replacement, but this is necessary for me to function, okay? I cannot deal with this. <laughs> it is way too dark in this house. I need more lighting. I just, I hate these base game default lights. For some reason, all of the base game starter homes are so dark inside and I, I cannot handle it. He wants to make someone angry. I can't even water this. He just said he wanted to plant it. He didn't want to water it, so I can't. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, here, you can come play a game. And then after that, I guess I have to find someone else to be mean to. There's a lot of sims out and about though, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find a new target. <laughs> okay, we have reached the point where his needs are starting to get low. He kind of needs to pee and he kind of needs to eat. I'm gonna let him keep going until he finishes this game, because I think that should complete the whim. Oh, you can like video games. That'll be helpful. Oh, we have another whim! He wants to relieve himself and he's doing it on his own. Nice work, Stanley. I'm proud of you. Okay, so there's not too too many people left outside. I'm seeing, it looks like summer holiday. Oh, we can go bully her. That was a mistake. He just tried to go to sleep and uh-oh. I'll let him sleep. He's sleeping on his own so he can- Oh, he's sleeping for real too. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'll let him sleep. <laughs> I won't- I won't interrupt this. You can stay here and you can sleep through the night. When do I go to? Do I just let him wake up on his own? Oh, he's gonna eat too. Look, and he wants to eat food, so we're getting that covered. All right, after this, he has- oh, he has new whims now. Oh, did sleeping re-roll them? He wants to browse Simipedia and enthuse about the outdoors. Those are both easy. So I think that the- he's evil laughing. <laughs> I think that this third whim is specifically for needs, and it's possible for you to get a fourth pop-up, and that one has to do with the fears. When you go into your gameplay settings, you can enable wants and fears, Technically, these are called wants now and not whims. They used to be whims, now they're wants. <laughs> it's a tough habit to break, okay? They've been called wants for a while, but I, I can't drop the whims thing. But you can turn these on and off in your game settings if you wanted to. There's all kinds of web stuff you can do, like reading obituaries, researching stuff, but I guess I'll browse Simpedia. He wants to make an enemy again? <laughs> <laughs> and enthuse about the outdoors. Okay, who's out here? Oh, it's Morty! This is my friend. I always forget what category enthuse about the outdoors is under. <laughs> I'm like constantly going through and checking all of them. Okay, well, oh, I want to yell at Bella. Oh, good. <laughs> Why does he get a pop-up to specifically yell at her? I'm like making enemies with this entire family. Okay, mock his outfit, shout forbidden words. As long as I can fight him, it should be pretty easy to be his enemy. And then I gotta find Bella and go yell at her too. Please, please. Do not ever call me again about Patu. Not now. No. I'm so busy. <laughs> I've got enemies to make, actually. Fight him. Fight him. Okay, hopefully I actually win this one. Because I did get beat up yesterday. Oh! I won! And we now despise each other. Okay, well, just declare an enemy real quick. Thank you very much. That'll be number two. <laughs> oh, he wants to view a piece of art. Okay. Oh, maybe I could bring Bella with me to the museum. I could, like, call her up, bring her out to Municipal Muses, and then yell at her while we're there. I don't know if she'll come with me. <laughs> if I were her, I would not, but we can try. Oh, good. Okay, hi, Bella. I'm just here because I wanted to yell at you quick. Oh, he's got another whim to view a piece of art because he's in a museum, and he already had one from his aspiration. <laughs> So now he has two. He also wants to find a collectible. Okay, that's good because I have not done anything to earn money yet. Like not a single thing. So looking for collectibles will probably help me. Oh no. Huh? Hey Stanley, been going through some stuff lately. Do you mind if I come over and stay for a while at your place? I just want to get away from things for a few days and give myself time to process everything. I beat you up this morning. Is he okay? <laughs> I don't know if this is the appropriate response. I think I'm the reason you're going through stuff lately, but you can stay over. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get more whims from that. Another one? He wants to make a third enemy? Okay, Nancy's over here. I'll come beat her up too. I'm fine with that. This is like the enemy speed run challenge at this point. I'm actually getting kind of good at this. Don't do push-ups. Stop. Oh, she's beating up me. I didn't even start that. I didn't even press fight. That was her. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you're definitely an enemy then. I'm actually offended that I didn't get the chance to be the one to start it. Be mean to a good sim again. Oh, these these social ones are kind of boring. I'm gonna go try and find a collectible first. There are a whole bunch out here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Stanley dug up a capsule. What could be inside? Oh, I have to open that first to get it. Okay, well, I also have a frog, so that's fun. He wants to stay outside for eight hours. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. We'll be here till 8 p.m. apparently. That's fine. Is Bella still here, perhaps? Also, is there a heat wave? You want to stay outside for eight hours in the heat wave. Okay, I don't know about that idea, actually. That's probably not the smartest thing you could have done, but whatever. <laughs> Bella Goth is over here, so we should be able to come be mean to her and stay outside in the process. Oh. Judith Ward is here, too. <laughs> There's, like, quite the commotion going on in this place. Level up in painting skill. Oh, no. Well, maybe I'll get us an easel out here, then. We can just put one and then stand outside and paint, right? Part of the problem with trying to paint at the museum is that there's only one easel, and it's always taken up by somebody. Like, another sim is always using it. I'm not too opposed to buying stuff when necessary for this challenge. Again, I don't really have a rule book. Like, I'm kind of just making this up as I go. Oh, no. We also have to be careful, because Stanley having needs is gonna make him want to go inside, to use the toilet inside. Did you not level up? Sell that. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on him and like keep canceling anything he gets. Oh, wait, you've got a fear? Fear of failure, <laughs> oh no. He wants to become recognized for his work. We can ask for a performance review or show off our work to prove that we are capable. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, can I? Because he has a whim for it, I'm allowed to force him to use a toilet, right? Surely there's like an outdoor toilet. There's not an outdoor toilet anywhere. I don't want him to go inside. That would be very inconvenient. It's gonna break my clock. <laughs> wait, what do I do? <laughs> Should I go somewhere else? Oh, look at all these kids doing their homework together. Oh, that's actually really cute. Okay, um, I'm gonna go somewhere on purpose that I know has an outdoor toilet. Stanley, buddy, I brought you all this way just so you can use this bathroom instead of an indoor one. He also wants to clean himself <laughs> because he has low motives, but we can't do that yet. We gotta finish all of our painting first, so I'm going back again. <laughs> I have to fix the fear. We've got a long to-do list today. Okay, he finished the painting. I'm gonna try and show it off. Oh, there's no nearby sims to show it off to. <laughs> What? Do I have to know them first? Don't go inside! Don't go inside! Stop, 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 stop. Oh, don't be rude! Don't be rude! Don't be rude! Please, just introduce yourself. Can I show it off now? Oh, now there's people. Okay, well, that's fine. Do you like it? No? <laughs> what? It doesn't count. I'm gonna be mean to her. That was so unfair. Does that mean that she didn't like my work? So it, it didn't help with my fear of failure because she didn't like reassure me? That's actually really messed up. Make an enemy from being evil again? Stanley, this is getting ridiculous. I gotta be honest. You need to calm down with this. You don't have a single friend. <laughs> Maybe this is why you have such a fear of failure because you don't have any positive reassurance in your life. All you do is fight people. You're just constantly causing problems and making enemies. All right, here we go. It's time to fight <laughs> again. Like for the fourth fourth or fifth time. Okay, let's declare this sim an enemy then. So we've got that covered. Can I show this off again yet? <laughs> no? I've already attempted it recently? He wants to enthuse about a new show. Stay outside for eight hours, view a piece of art, and be recognized for our work. Don't go inside! Oh, that was close. We should be like this close to getting the eight hours thing. Oh my god, and as we speak, he finally finished it just as he walked inside too, because he's trying to autonomously view this. Okay, now he wants to eat food. So we should be able to go home now. Oh, you want to chat with Ekram? Is Ekram even here? Do you even know them anymore? I, did I even like introduce myself? Okay, we did. Okay, well, maybe I'll bring Ekram home with me. <laughs> oh, oh, we did introduce ourselves. I forgot, I tried to bully that guy at home on the first day. Sorry, I, I forgot about him. I didn't beat him up, so it wasn't memorable. Oh, everyone's here. Oh dear. <laughs> Even Vlad? Okay. Well, you just want to chat with him, so that's not too bad. You can also enthuse about your new show. I'm gonna need to shower in a minute. Oh, you're doing it on our own? Okay. Mortimer's in my bed! He's crying in my bed! I don't want to deal with this. Okay, he's getting himself a quick meal, too. Oh, Ekram was just mean to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. I'm the mean one. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the problem. You can't do it back to me. Oh, great, now he's going to sleep on his own. That's fine. I'll, I'll deal with the whims in the morning. I think he's gonna get new whims in the morning. Is that Vlad? <sighs> Okay, hopefully he doesn't break into my house or something. So at this current moment, Mortimer is just sort of like watching me sleep, uh, which is a little bit alarming. <laughs> I know I said he could stay over, but it is kind of scary how he just like stands there. Now I want to insult Nancy and paint a mural. Oh, oh, okay. It looks like he's also getting food autonomously before he uses the bathroom, which isn't very smart. Are you not gonna pee on your own? Really? Let me call up Nancy, I guess. Oh no, here he goes. His needs are like really okay. I, I thought it would be worse than this, but he's doing a better job of taking care of himself than I expected. So to paint a mural, I guess I should probably do that here and then maybe invite Nancy. At first I was gonna go to her house and paint one at her house, but I'd rather do it at home. <laughs> Seems like a, a safer bet to do it at home. Can I paint it on my own little, oh no. Can I do it on my own wall, like inside? Paint a political mural, why not? Maybe I can, oh, is Nancy here? Oh, she is 
this here? Wait, show me again. Oh no, I think she just left. Oh, that was a close one. Never mind. I wasn't gonna have to invite her over, but I was too late. I guess it, that's probably why it had that pop up because she was in the neighborhood. It wasn't just for no reason. Okay, Nancy's over here right now buying some food. I want to insult her, so I'll come do that quick. I don't like your outfit, Nancy. It's kind of cringe. You don't look very much like yourself. Now I want to catch a fish. I like that better. I, I much prefer the activity ones over the social ones. I, I'm kind of finding it boring, all this constant enemy making. <laughs> I like when he wants to do stuff. All right, fish is caught. What's next? I'm Sue's about the outdoors. Okay, well, nobody's around right now and I've got to finish this mural because it takes ages. Oh, no, wait, now he wants to level up in the painting skill. Oh, it's a new one. Okay, well, I guess we can do the mural to do that and I'll probably hang up our little fish. I've got a collection of fish going on my wall. <laughs> okay, now he wants to view a piece of art. Do I even have one? No. He also still wants to get recognized for his work, so maybe I could go back to the museum. I'll talk to a sim there about the outdoors and try to get him to be proud of my work. <laughs> okay, hello Ava. I am here to introduce myself. Oh, I also want to play video games. Okay, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> when the sims pass out because of celebrities, it's always so funny. Okay, let's come show off our work to Ava. Oh, she doesn't like me. Uh-oh, that was probably a mistake. Do you like it yet? Maybe I'll try the other sim. We have less of a red bar with that one. No? Oh my god, it's hard being afraid of failure. <laughs> it's rough out here. Oh great, now it's Nancy too. Make an enemy! Oh my god, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick and tired of this. Let me try and show off my work again before I do that. Maybe they'll like it this time. She's looking, she's looking. Do you like it? Did we just get a romance pop up from that? Is this me that's doing it wrong or- Oh, romantic decor. Oh wow. Well I was gonna say, is it me that's doing it wrong or is it like- <gasps> He flirted with her! Oh my god, he's flirting with her! Okay, well, I'm gonna try and make an enemy of Hillary really quick. I wasn't anticipating any flirting happening, so this is kind of a shock. And I still don't know if I'm the problem with this fear thing. To be honest, I don't often try to fix their fears. I mostly just let them deal with it, so I'm not really an expert in the field of trying to fix them. <laughs> Another fear? Oh my god. Fear of being judged? Those judgmental eyes feel like they are staring right at Stanley. Well, you're the one who keeps trying to get people to judge your work. That's your own fault. Oh my god. You leave a sim to their own devices for one day. And they're afraid of failing. They're afraid of being judged. I get it I mean, he's probably like very aware that there's thousands of people watching this video right now and that it's like his fault If it's boring. Oh, she's fighting me. I didn't even do that. I didn't cue that up <laughs> <laughs> she beat me up. Okay, well that's not good. Declare her an enemy. Best leave me alone. Not today. All right, well, that's enemy number five. <laughs> now he wants to plant something again. All right, let's just go back home so we can play some games and do some planting. He still doesn't want to water anything. <laughs> <laughs> he specifically wants to plant things, not take care of them, just plant them. To this day, we have not watered this thing a single time. It looks like it's maybe not doing terribly. He might autonomously water it. He might also get a want to water it. No, he wants to stay outside for eight hours. Stanley, you can't do that right now. You can do that in the morning, but you're not staying outside for eight hours overnight. Okay, Morty is crying in my bed again. Oh, he's cleaning up the trash. That's good. He even washed his hands after. Oh, he brought it outside and just put it on the floor though, so never mind. He's actually not very helpful at all. I would really like it if you were to make food for me, Morty. It would be like really helpful if you cooked dinner or something because I'm not allowed to cook dinner. So if you would do it, that would be great. No, he's just crying in my bed. I understand. I, I know, I know. I get it, I really do. He's miserable, but he still hasn't finished the play video games thing. Okay, now you can finally pee. <laughs> you can pee and you can eat and you can be mean to people. Oh, he doesn't want to eat, he's sleeping. Okay, oh, and he's awake because he wants to eat. Oh, he has new ones. Figure out differences with other Sims from fear of being judged, eat food, be mischievous to Mortimer, Make an enemy. Oh my god. He's cooking something for real. Oh wow. Stanley's first meal. Are you gonna eat it? Well, that's fun. Okay, we can be mischievous to Mortimer. That's not too bad. Better than being mean. <laughs> All right, well, I can try to start figuring out my differences with you, Morty. Figure out differences. We might be able to end this enemy thing. Oh, never mind. He's going to sleep. Oh, and he's awake again because Morty's asleep. You being here is so inconvenient. This is the first night that I haven't been able to sleep and it's because of him. No, wake him up. Oh, we're asleep again. Okay, he can just stand there. That's fine. Overheating from being hot. Okay, he also wants to find a collectible and make another sim angry. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this. Okay, he's going to get himself some water. Maybe I should buy him a thermostat. I think him having the thingy saying that he's overheating is probably a good sign that I'm allowed to buy a thermostat, right? We can help him take care
care of these things too. We can take care of his moodlets. Okay, let's find a collectible. Do plants count as collectibles? Yes, they do. He wants to clean himself, catch a fish. He's gonna eat again. Are you gonna cook? Oh, good job, Stanley. This is impressive. This is better than just eating yogurt. It'll be funny to see what his skills are like at the end of this too, because obviously he's not gonna have that many of them. Okay, he is showering too, so that's a good start. I'm also gonna be curious to see how many points he has, which realistically probably won't be that many. These things aren't very high point rewards, like 50, 25, this one's 100. I'm gonna try to start figuring out those differences again. Oh, what happened to you? Never good enough from feel of failure and gloomy presence from sad stay over guests. Well, if we figure out our differences, maybe it won't be sad anymore. Did it work? No, okay. We already tried two recently. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're gonna be fixing any of Stanley's fears. I don't think the game wants it to be fixed. It's making it exceptionally difficult for me to do, so I may just give up. Oh, he stopped fishing to pee. Oh man. I couldn't do it before because Morty was on the toilet. He was using it. You know what? This time of day is beautiful. It's like really pretty out right now with the sun setting. So at least there's that. Oh, and we caught a fish. Now he wants to plant something again. Stanley, you have still to this day not watered a single plant. <laughs> Oh, that one's cool. It's a koi fish. Put that up too. We're getting some decor. We're, we're starting to get somewhere. New plan is to browse Simpedia again. Okay, we can do that. And then he wants to level up in the painting skill. That's easy. We can do that too. We can just paint because he's not really tired. So we can just stay up and paint a lot. That'll give Morty a chance to sleep too, which is probably for the best. All right, painting level four. It is 2 a.m. He wants to talk about the outdoors and stuff, but I might let him just sleep instead. It looks like he's going to sleep instead though. So they're going to get re-rolled tomorrow. Oh, well. I hate how he just stands there. It's so creepy. He's just standing there all night watching me. Okay, paint a mural. Find a collectible. Okay, we can start there. I shall continue the mural. Oh, and we're done. Okay, Morty's crying, so I probably shouldn't try and talk to him. And did that not count as me eating food? He just ate yogurt. What? It really would be nice if I could fix these fears, but like nothing ever works. I mean, it's not supposed to be easy, but open that up. Now you want to chat with Alexander? Why? <laughs> Let me put my collectibles on my desk too. Um, here, you can put this thing inside the house. That's my frog. I guess I could call up Alexander and then try to enthused about the outdoors to him. Alexander is one of the last goths that I have not made an enemy with, but I feel like I probably should not bully a child. I don't think that's a good idea. My stayover guests have returned home. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, Morty. I'm gonna miss him, actually. Okay, now you wanna be mean to someone. All right, I'll, I will only slightly be mean to Alexander. Not a lot. I'll just imply his mother is a llama. Slight, slight bullying of the child, but mostly bullying of Bella, okay? Because I have to do that. <laughs> he wants to play at something again. Okay, and he also wants to play video games. Games. Unfortunately for us, we have still yet to water these. And it hasn't rained or anything. It's just been heat waves. I don't even think it's gonna rain. The kid won't leave me alone. He keeps talking to me. <laughs> go away. Okay, now we want to view a piece of art again. And we also want to go on vacation to Granite Falls. What? That's a huge one. And I only get 50 points from that. Are you actually kidding? <sighs> Okay, fine. I'll go view the art and then go on vacation. <laughs> we'll go all the way out to Granite Falls. One of the interesting things about this is that depending on the traits that you pick, your sim will have a very different experience. Like obviously I made my sim like love art and he loves the outdoors. So we're getting a lot of things related to that. Also he's evil, so I'm being really mean. But if you had different traits, you would have a totally different challenge. Yeah, he wants an enemy again. Okay, we can go make enemies in Granite Falls. So this might actually be interesting to try again with a different set of traits because I'm kind of curious just how how it works and like to experiment a little bit more. Okay, I got my vacation. <laughs> now you want to plant something. Can you even plant things here? I don't even think you can. Oh, you can. Never mind. Sorry. False alarm. You want to fish. You can fish. We can fish in this place. That is one of those things that you can actually do here. So that's good. <laughs> There's quite a few fishing areas. It's one of the only things that you can do here while you're camping. Play video games. You can't. You can't play video games. I am sick and tired of all these same things over and over again. <laughs> I'm almost curious to just re-roll a couple times with mods to see what happens. Apologize to Mortar chat with Alexander. Yeah, we're getting a lot of repetitive stuff with this one. Play video games, find a collectible, <laughs> stay outside. Come on, chat with Alexander again. Yeah, these are getting kind of boring. Viewing art. It's all the same stuff over and over and over again painting a mural again. He is grilling autonomously, so that's kind of fun. While he eats that, I might take a look and see. So he's got level three video gaming, level one gardening. We got some entrepreneur skills, some dancing skills, some fishing skill, painting, charisma, mischief, logic, cooking. Oh, actually the logic and mischief he had from a previous save. <laughs> he didn't get those today. All the rest he got today. And in total, we have 2,295 points. Wait, seriously? That's actually pretty good. That's a lot. You can buy some pretty decent stuff with that. The, the 2,000 points 
category. We could never have to use a toilet again with 2,000 points. <laughs> Maybe I should try to use their wants more often. Because a lot of them, I mean, some are quite repetitive and boring, but a lot of the others are are not too bad, and the enemy one gets you 100 each time. But like things like painting a mural, you can just start and then immediately stop that and you still get the points from it. So it does add up quite quickly, and they are all tied to your regular aspiration and skills. So like with Stanley, I'm already kind of trying to build the painting skill because he has that painting aspiration, so me working on that isn't too big of a deal. Uh oh, he's starting a fire. Now what? You're going hiking? Okay. You just left the fire burning to go off on a hike? Fine, that's fine. Seems like he's having a good time. He loves the outdoors. He's got crisp air. He's inspired by nature. <laughs> I think he had fun today. I think Stanley deserved to have a nice day like this, where he got to experiment and kind of do what he wanted instead of what I wanted. Because in most of my Stanley Humphrey videos, this guy suffers a lot. <laughs> he has a real rough time. <laughs> His needs are bad. He's doing nightmarish skill building. Like he just, he barely has a house. So today he had a, a much more cushy lifestyle, you know, peeing in this little hut at the campground. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to tell me something and he's trying to say that he needs a vacation. He needs a nice relaxing day out. So you know what? I think this is probably a good stopping point. I think I'll end this video right here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if we should try it again at some point in the future and, and have like different traits to see what happens with different sims. I mean, it would still be this sim. He'd just have different traits. <laughs> but let me know if we should try. And I'm gonna link my friend Dr. Luan's channel down below because I am copying him. <laughs> I watched him do this on Twitch and I thought it was super fun. So I'll link his Twitch and his YouTube down below. And on that note, I think I will go and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. He's hiking again. <laughs> Maybe I should do a Stanley Ghost camping video again. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll go, I'll go. Okay, bye. <laughs> I have done a camping rags to riches before, but I'm not opposed to doing it again if that's what he wants, because it seems like that's what he's asking for. 